My life is crazy. Crazy, I tell ya. Crazy. Okay, so this angle is probably odd. I'm on the floor, on my knees. It don't sound right, but I'm on my knees. Um, my tripod is at my office, and I wanted to film this video before I had to go somewhere and I didn't feel like going to my office. Long story short, I so never understood why YouTubers were still on the floor, but now it totally makes sense. So, let me paint this picture for you guys, okay? It is approximately November something or another. November, it's right before Thanksgiving. November something, 2018. So, my life has did a complete like... Let me paint this picture for you guys. I might need a snack. So, I want to talk about my life and everything that happened. I need a snack. That happened to me over this year because I went through so much this year, you guys. First, let's let's make a paint the picture for you guys. So, February. I was all in love. Now, this is I've never came out and spoke about any of this stuff. So, completely just bear with me I'm not trying to say anything bad about anybody I love the family of this person still got respect for this person it's just life happened and we broke up and I was devastated I felt betrayed I don't know what happened I, I felt like I was blindsided like you know when when you feel like you gave your all to somebody and they actually never wanted it but it's kind of like okay anyway so I felt that way but then it's like, okay, every single day just start hurting. Like, it hurt to get up. I was just so sad. And I was in the process of opening Mixon's Rolled Ice Cream with my business partner, Vandra. But when this situation happened, I was so devastated that I didn't even care about that stuff. I didn't care about YouTube. I didn't care about Instagram. I didn't care about y'all. And I'm just when I got y'all messed up. I love y'all. I didn't care about a lot of stuff that I usually care about. So not because so many different things were happening. Um, personal, my personal life. So it's like get up every day and be optimistic and be excited about this ice cream shop. But we were supposed to open in April. And fast forward now it's April and we're nowhere near being open. Construction wasn't done. Nothing was done. Um, so I was just devastated about that. So then we're moving forward. We're still trying to like shop for the business and do so many different things. And we have so many people asking like, when are you guys going to open? We're like, oh, give us a few more weeks. Give us another month. And we still weren't open. So now we're looking at like June, July. And... The guy I was with, like his life just excelled. Like fame, everything was happening for him and I'm happy for him. But it was just hard to watch because it's like, oh my gosh, I was supposed to be there, blah, blah, blah. Or like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't even know. I'm happy for the kid. But it was just kind of hard. So going through that, going through the motions and then, we were able to get a date. Like, okay, you guys can actually open mix-ins um, in August. So August comes, we have our friends and family gathering just to kind of let our friends and family see. You guys, the turnout was amazing. The turnout was beyond our wildest dreams. So then we had a soft opening the week after that. Didn't advertise mix-ins, didn't post it anywhere. And everything was literally like, people were coming in. People were saying, oh, I heard about you guys. Oh, we were being reposted, reshared everywhere on all these different platforms. So then our grand opening happened and we didn't even advertise. We just made one little status on Facebook and shared it. And it got so many shares and you guys, we had like hundreds of people at our grand opening. So it was just kind of like, wow, like there's so much more in store. Like you have your life planned out and we think that everything is oh peachy keen like we know exactly how our life is going to be and this and that we're going to have this and have that and we're going to get all of our cake and eat it too but it's like that's not how it happens you got to go through some stuff in order to get where like you know i don't know i'm not trying to preach but it's like y'all i'm trying to preach because you guys helped me through so much when i was going through you guys were messaging me like trisha are you okay we haven't heard from you you guys are even calling me like what's wrong you haven't seemed like yourself and it was just like, why was I letting so much happen or bring me down that was pointless? You know what I mean? So I just went on a full journey of finding myself, finding my happiness, and just being in tune with myself. Like, I always loved myself. I feel like I already knew who I was. But it's like, I was so wrapped up into somebody else or to other things or, I don't know. I just was so wrapped up into this way versus myself. 
you know what I mean so it's like it was hard to grow the business or to think about the business or think about anything else when my mental was off like I lost so much weight I got to like 120 pounds maybe I was so skinny I wasn't eating um and then I was just trying to work work on the business work out and then keep keep feeding my brain so it was just so much going on and God flipped it around in a matter of like six months so um make sense end up making over six figures in about two months and when I tell you guys God is so real God is so good God is so gracious and his mercy is everlasting because that was that's only a dream like we only imagine that we were going to do stuff like that and to be able to hit that in two months it's like God was like baby girl listen be some own voice I wasn't done with you so it's just like you guys whatever you're going through today is only temporary whatever you're going through is only temporary it's only temporary I was able to move out of my mom's house I got my own apartment downtown now that's super crazy um, the last time I lived on my own was maybe two and a half years ago um, and the apartment was not nearly as nice as this so I mean things completely looked up as soon as I thought like oh my gosh <laughs> life oh. God was like girl come on come get your apartment come on get on your feet stand up what apartment you want uh, you know so it's just it's a blessing everything happens in life for a reason um, I hated guys and I just was like I don't care about any guys which I'm still really into them for myself but I couldn't let someone paint a picture to mess it up for everybody else um, so with this blessing you guys literally hang in there because when one door closes another opens you have to go through things to get your biggest blessings and whatever you're going through now is only temporary that's just the point I want to make in this video because like I said I thought I was broken <laughs> I was sad I was done and that is not the case at all and I even learned to while being in tune with myself and loving and putting myself first I even found that there's good people good men still in this world and I may or may not have one I'm just playing where am I but that's pretty much all I wanted to say like my life has been and up and down literally the beginning of the year was hell and the, towards the end of this year it's a dream so it's like you just gotta go through the motion ride that way feel the feelings you want to feel and just know that your life can literally change in a matter of three months your life can change in six months and your life will be drastic in a year so that's just the seed I want to plant to you guys today that is my crazy life update and yeah does that make sense so I'm back to the YouTube world, chill. I'm back to traveling and stuff, but I'm still focused on Mixins. Mixins Road Ice Cream. Where do you guys live? Should we bring a Mixins to your city? Where do you guys live? Comment below. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you tell your friends to tell their friends so we can be friends. And I will see you in my next video.